Последните 15 минути кои што се резервирани за најуспешните проекти од Јадранскиот регион. Дејан Димов од Нико по безбедување е следниот што ќе го видиме на сцената. Антеа цемент комплетна на доградба на CCTV системот со централен мониторинг и управување е темата на неговата презентација. Време трејањето како и за сите предходни е 15 минути. Ве подсетувам уште еднаш дека на официалната веб страница на Адрија Секјурити Самит. Го имате линкот каде што можете да гласате за презентацијата. Многу наскоро ќе знаеме и кои ќе бидат издвоени како најуспешни проекти. Да, пожо, следиме сега и презентацијата на Никоп. Господине Дејан, повелат. Добар ден. Јас сум Дејан Димов од Никоп обезбедување. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dejan Dimov from Nikop Security. Uh, it's my pleasure today to present this case study for a project we did last year uh, for a client of ours in Albania. The project name is Antea Cement, complete upgrade of CCTV system with central monitoring and management. As I said, we started this project, the implementation of this project, late December 2017, and it was completely finished late January 2018. Uh, for some of you who are first time hearing about NICOP, NICOP has been founded in 1995 as the first registered company for private security in the country. It started its operation in 1999. And since then, we have been involved in installation and system integration of security systems, physical and VIP security, CIT transit, monitoring services with mobile patrol units, uh, centralized monitoring, centralized video monitoring, and the newest uh, service we are providing is cash processing services. At this point, we have uh, more than 2,000 employees that are working for us, and we have just over 9,000 clients and are securing more than 20,000 locations at our monitoring center. Our main client base is vertical markets, embassies, uh, industry, gaming industry, manufacturer, automotive, and uh, we also do outsource uh, uh, security for foreign uh, security companies. As I mentioned, uh, the project uh, concerns a cement manufacturing uh, company that is located in Albania. It's near Tirana, near the place the Fush Kruje. Uh, it spans on a roughly 650,000 square meters with almost five kilometers of perimeter that needed to be protected. The, the total investment of the factory is about 200 million euros. When we were called in, this is early 2017, the, the client had an existing CCTV system that had a lot of issues. They had an analog CCTV system with uh, standard definition or at this point very low quality uh, video. Uh, the, the nature of the factory uh, is that uh, they, they have a lot of high power machines, they have power power uh, networks going through the, uh, through the factory ground, so they had a lot of interference from outside sources. These are high voltage lines that are interfering with the video signal, and as a result, you get blurred, uh, blurred image, you get uh, a distorted image, you get graining, etc. As a result of the, these conditions, there were a lot of defects in the system. So when we got there, the, full, the, the system was about 20 to 30 percent operational, depending on the, on the day of the week. They had no administration, they had no management, they had no user management, no intelligence in the system, and at the end there, there was no use of the system. It was just in there so they can have it. Additionally, they had no, no thermal imaging, they had no central video monitoring, 
They had no access control, no time attendance, no uh, control of the employees or visitors' entry and exit, and as well for the vehicles. The, the entry and exit of vehicles was conducted manually by operator opening or uh, lifting or uh, putting down the barrier. What was requested for, from us? The, the request was, uh, to put it simply, do something that we get a, a, a functioning and a, a good system. The, the area, just to give you a, a, an idea of what we are talking about, is a rural area outside of any uh, city, outside of any village. It has long fencing at a very difficult to access terrain. A lot of, uh, a lot of vegetation, bushes, trees that are, making, uh, that are making the classical CCTV very hard to operate, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of a very big presence of fogs in a big uh, part of the year. So it's a very difficult condition, especially for CCTV. And what we had to do is completely replace the obsolete analog CCTV and low quality system. We had to uh, reduce their defect, uh, their defect uh, density, provide them provide them a solution that can be centrally managed and centrally administrated. Uh, we, can, we needed to provide them a role management system that they, each user had to have his own specific rights and roles in this system. And uh, perhaps uh, most Im importantly, provide some intelligent with advanced analytics. Because this is a very large system, very large area, we need to have a system that can automatically point the, the security personnel to the, to the risky situations. And shortly to provide the usefulness of the system. Additionally, the request was to provide thermal imaging as well for the perimeter protection and the hard conditions for the vegetation and the trees, as well for internal control of the of the uh, power distribution network they had inside, of the cooling system for the concrete, etc. They needed uh, central control and monitoring, access control that they didn't have, so a lot of critical infrastructure, critical locations were left either unprotected or by manual locking mechanism that made the access very hard and very difficult to achieve, especially in a fast and reliable manner. They needed a time attendance system, employee entry or exit control, and ve ve automatic vehicle entry and exit control. After uh, uh, doing a lot of consideration, consultation, and testing of possible solutions, we decided and recommended a solution from Dahua that was based on, uh, on IP high-end uh, ultra-series IP uh, cameras. So uh, starting from the, the perimeter, we installed uh, over 100 cameras to cover the perimeter with advanced analytic, being able to automatically detect fence hopping, an incident that has happened previously on multiple occasions and was left uh, unnoticed by the security guards, although it was covered by cameras in the past. We installed 11 ultra smart series full HD speed dome cameras that were directly linked to the fixed cameras and the event triggers that were automatically follow the intruders when or if they came into the protected area. For recording of all this, uh, or uh, just to get back to the thermal cameras, we installed two uh, thermal cameras at the highest point of the factory, the cooling tower where although they were used uh, as security cameras to cover the uh, hard to cover with optical cameras uh, areas, they were used for te thermal measuring of critical infrastructure like their power uh, distribution or, and power conversion unit and their cooling, uh, cooling cylinder. All this was, uh, was set up to be recorded on two 64 channel Ultra 4K NVRs fully stocked with uh, hard drives and two 16 
uh, channel SAS storage. Kevin is fully stocked with hard drives, both in RAID 6 uh, configuration for redundancy and continuous operation. To uh, be able to connect all of this equipment together with the central monitoring, uh, a solution needed to be provided that can both satisfy the needs and be safe and secure. So we decided to go with optical infrastructure with over 60 uh, field switches that were installed with POA, uh, with POE managed, uh, managed switches, with fiber optic spanning tree configuration, which means that uh, if the uh, cable was cut anywhere in, the, in this perimeter, operation would continue via both living, uh, lo uh, last uh, ends. We had uh, seven loops, totally different independent loops, covering uh, the entire perimeter and uh, the entire installed equipment. We had uh, central uh, control via two ag aggregation switches for redundancy. And the uh, Zen point equipment or front end equipment, as I mentioned, we use the, the, the high end or the ultra series of cameras with motorized zoom lenses, with uh, very low light sensitivity cameras that uh, we managed to acquire polar camera even in pitchback, color image even in pitchback conditions. The recording solution and also the central management system that was managing all of the all of the cameras, all of the uh, switches, all of the NVRs, all of the equipment. This is important because we need real-time information if a defect occurs or some piece of equipment fails in this entire loop, so it can be fixed easily, it can be fixed fast, and it can have no, uh, no ramification on the security of the, of the object that is being secured. The second thing we did was install a license plate system that was, that was directly connected to the access control or the, the barriers where uh, in case of a pre-registered vehicle, doesn't matter if this is a truck or a car or an employee or a visitor that is uh, being previously announced or correctly inserted into the system would have unattended access after after the security checkup, so no personnel would be should be bothered to go manually raise the barrier, let down the barrier, etc. This um, this increased the the flow of approved pre-approved vehicles by 15 to 20 percent after the installation. Again, it, uh, the, the equipment was uh, connected to a uh, controlling server that, had, that has the, comp, uh, the capability to being uh, remotely managed and as well be connected to the uh, company's uh, SAP system for business management. The other, uh, the other uh, uh, system we installed is the access control system. So the request was that we have a centrally managed system that can be uh, uh, set up from one location, one, one server, one software, and be, uh, be distributed all around the factory with uh, IP-capable controllers. So uh, about uh, 16, uh, 60 doors were uh, secured with two-way authentication keeping in mind that uh, a lot of uh, health and safety regulations had to be kept in mind when, uh, when designing and, uh, and uh, installing this system. So connecting uh, em emergency evacuation system to the access control system, the push door system to this system. So it was uh, uh, not a simple installation as firstly thought, but uh, we managed to to incorporate all the, the legal requirements and client needs into this system. It's also managed by one central management system as well. The system, although seemingly uh, very, very straightforward, is quite complex. And uh, both from infrastructure standpoint 
and from uh, from setup standpoint, uh, it uh, took a lot of time and preparation before the actual installation of the equipment to set up all of these devices, to, to prepare them for the physical installation on site, so everything can be uh, installed plug and play, let's say it. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, effort on our, our side was uh, was put in just into the preparation stage. So what we have seen here on the diagra diagram can be replicated on site as well. What we got as a final result? As a final result, we got a system that was finally finally useful to the client. We got a system that, uh, instead of being a passive system that only records and provides uh, some sort of evidence is the, in the future, is an actual tool for the security personnel there that can, in real time, alert them, and they can send a, a patrol vehicle to, to investigate the, the incident as well as uh, uh, make corrective measures if, if necessary. All of the personnel has been uh, very, very thoroughly trained to use this system, as it is on uh, as it is advanced system. Uh, ad administrators have been trained to administer the system, so each and every aspect of the system has been covered. They received and we built for them their own mini monitoring center, where all of the cameras uh, can be watched. Uh, uh, visualization of the virtual fencing system has been made with the uh, alerting system for, for the operators that can usually locate and, and, uh, and uh, locate the alarms. Thermal cameras have been tested uh, for, uh, for uh, both uh, security application and uh, uh, technology application to monitor and follow the operational temperature of the power distribution network and the, the process of uh, cooling down the, the concrete. This is the actual installation on the fence of the fixed and speed dome cameras. As I mentioned, uh, almost five kilometers, so we had uh, roughly every 50 meters one camera covering the area. These are the plate recognition cameras covering the entry exit points where automatic plate recognition was, has been conducted and uh, the barriers, and it was integrated with the current barriers that the client had. Time. All of this equipment had a lot of central equipment that had to be installed and set up correctly in order of every, every piece of this technology to do its job. As a conclusion, uh, we got a one vendor solution that uh, using all of our know-how uh, was able to make a product that is uh, both reliable and 40% uh, more cost eff effective with uh, very low cost of ownership since all the maintenance has been dropped to a minimum level. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them at our booth 17 and 29. Thank you.